Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2 Episode 3 Review. The show starts off Carly Red, she's in the studio making a diss record for K. Michelle. Currently K. Michelle been making a record about her, so she's like, okay, since you're going to waste the time, make a record on me, I'm going to make one on you. Rashida walks in with the new girl Tracy, they sitting there. Carly Red wants Rashida to get on the record, but she's like, nah, I'm too grown for that. I ain't got time for that. I'm just not going to do it. This girl crazy. No. Nah. I'm not going to waste my time on a diss record for her. She, I'm just going to let her self-destruct on her own. Now we're going to move over to Scrappy and Erica. Erica, she's at home cooking. Scrappy comes in like, hey, I need to tell you about something. I was at the studio and Mama and Bucky came in. He called her shake. Yeah, she was like, okay, did they come in together? He's like, did they come in and get me? Like, man, it seemed like, yeah, you know, I don't even know how my mama got there, let alone Shay, how they knew that I was at the studio. And she was like, okay, that sounds fishy, but come on, continue with the story. He's like, yeah, she just wants to let me know that, hey, how I hurt her and, and how she still, you know, love me, but she was just mad the way I did her. He's like, I told you I'm sorry, but I'm with Erica now. And now, Erica's mad, like, okay, your mama, she's like overstepping her boundaries. A whole lot now. She's bringing this woman you used to creep with to your studio, knowing that we engaged. Yes, we gonna have to have a talk between me, you, your mama, and my mama to get this straight. We gonna move over to Mimi's housewoman. And you know, last week, came Michelle's like, I don't know if Rashida should come, but okay, that's your housewoman party, to Mimi. Rashida's your friend, so we gonna make this work. Everybody gets there. They talking, K. Michelle, Rashida not saying a word. Ariana, or Ariana, whatever her name is, Mimi's friend. She takes one herself. It's very quiet in here. K. Michelle, Rashida, aren't you guys going to talk? Now, they was cool that whole time to Ariana had to say that them talk. No, you know they don't talk to each other like that. So why, I ask why, do you think they're going to talk now? Because you know that's going to start a blow up and that's exactly what it did. It went on. You always on the radio talking about me. You did this about me. I ain't got time for this. I'm going to snatch your wig off. Let me leave to tell Kirk I said hi with his three ear rings. Rashida coming back in. Running up on K. Michelle. K. Michelle's like, come at me if you want. Those candle kicks. Fight, on, fight almost ensues. Now they done messed up Mimi's house from the party. As Rashida is getting pulled, tussled by said security guards, she's saying how she, sorry Mimi, but you know how the girl gets to it, basically. She goes up on what looks like a roof. Ariana and Mimi come up her like, girl, what's wrong? I ain't mean to mess up your party, Mimi, but you know how that girl gets to me. I cannot and will not be with her. Yes. Now we're going to move over to Scrap. He going to be up with Mama D. Hey, Mama D. What's up with you and going up there and, you know, coming up in there with Shay? That wasn't good. What was that all about? Oh, I just happened to see her. Okay, so y'all just completely by random. Oh, hey, Shay. Oh, hey, Mama D. How you doing? Is that Scrappy's car? Well, let's go in there and see what he doing. He's like, no, that sounds funny. Y'all been hooking up and y'all... Y'all been sneaking up together, trying in cahoots to try to come and see me. What's up with that? You know I'm with Erica. Why are you doing that? You know, perfect. She's like, well, I don't think that's true. And in the kingdom, the queen sees sees all the peasants down there. We got a guard out. He's looking at her like, really? You taking this prince of the south thing too far? You talk about peasants and guards and you the queen and you're looking at your scope and everything. So we need to sit down together and have a talk. We need to get this together quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, he fit to marry Erica and he wanted to make things right for her, but he can't do that with you trying to back, make him backpedal and get back with Shaq. Okay? We're going to move over. Jocelyn, I may or may not be in going in order, but I'm just going to have to roll with me. Jocelyn, she has her, I'm not even going to say it's a concert. She has her post could be a talent show. Cause she went up there, she sung her song in Spanish. People were clapping for her, so 
you know, she's making her money. She get up there, does like a 44 and a half seconds, 44 and a half seconds song. Everybody claps. She got off stage, got her money. Now, her booking agent helped her get that gig since I guess Stevie ain't trying to help her get no gig. Gives her her money. Stevie J comes in in his Sunday vest with his matching hat, like, uh, where's my cut? They're like, you ain't getting no cut until I get my contract. He's like, I'm gonna get my cut. She's like, okay, whatever, and they walked off. She's mad because, like, I need to get this contract from him. I'm not gonna give him no money until he gives me this contract. I ain't had no record deal. Well, I ain't had been in the studio. I ain't make no music, so he just gonna have to wait. Yeah. So, Steven, he be said, me, me, like, hey, where you living at? Need to know where my baby is, where I can pick her up. No, Steven, we need to be on a schedule. Schedule? I'm not used to no schedule. Well, you gonna have to start getting used to it because. I'm no longer playing by your rules. And if you want to see the baby, just let me know in advance so I can get it ready and I can meet you. You know I'm going to find you. I always find you. I ain't even going to ask me. I have my ways. He's like, okay. Fine, whatever. You find me. Are you seeing somebody? It don't matter who I'm seeing, Stevie. Is he stronger than me? No. No, no, no. I can't do that. Basically, that was it. Now, let's move over to the whole dinner. Oh, yeah. Jocelyn and Carly Red meet up. She's like, ah, being so want to get back with me. But he said something about y'all slept together. He wants to sleep with you. He was in a quarantine. Something like that. Something weird. Okay. Enough with him. Now, it's time for the dinner sit down with Erica, Scrappy, Ming Nong, and Mama D. They sit down, say grace. Okay. Now we need to get this clear up since we spent, me and Eric are to get married. Now, he won't let me clear. I love that girl over there. I'm going to marry her. Mother my child. But y'all need to stop this. Erica's mama feels like, okay, this is at me. Okay, this is how I feel. You've done my daughter wrong in the past. Okay, it's good if you love her and she loves you and y'all want to get married. But if y'all have a doubt, I don't think y'all should because you've done her wrong. You, I, he's like, what wrong have I done? Uh, the leaving for her, another woman, cheating on her, doing her all kinds of wrong. That sort of thing. But what about the good that I've done? You don't see it. Yeah, sorry about that. What was that? Yeah, you don't see the good what I've done. But, it's like, what good? Oh, oh Eric, come on, what, 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 what good? Tell me what good I've done. It's like, Eric, you've done good, you know that stuff. And it comes to, I don't, the respect thing. And Eric is like, how many times have your mama disrespected me? I'm still that thing. Will you call me that too? Mama D, you shown disrespect for, one, bringing Bucky up there to Scrappy Studios, two, trying to basically show Bucky a way to get back at Scrappy. So now, Erica, she even got all big and buck like, you know, you want to uh -uh, act like you tough, you ain't ready to do nothing. Scrappy took it up like, hold up, you trying to fight my mama. Erica get to push to the table. Oh, no, I want my rain back. You get up at my house, security escorts Mama D out. She's like, no, Scrappy's still in there. I ain't leaving till I get my rain. Erica's like, you ain't got nothing. You broke. Get up out my house. You ain't gonna be disrespecting me in my house. Get out. Then this whole stage scene outside. Cause it was like a abundance of lighting outside. Just random, randomly there. So crew outside. Scrappy out there getting his clothes. Talking about some. You know, I got get my rain back. Erica, she's pulling out the driveway. Scrappy, good man. Like I ain't leaving here till I get my rain. Mama D standing out there I'm like, yes. <laughs> they are broken up. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that was the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.